we're here to talk about what can we do together to partner. What can we do together? How do we how do we change what's plaguing our community? How do we change those things? How do we change the fact that our children can't walk the streets safe? How do we change the fact that our elderly people can't walk the streets safe? We can't afford to continue to keep losing our young people. I'm not I'm not here to we can, we can, I understand y'all, we want to start flipping pages and do that and quote scripture and let me get this. I'm not looking for that today. A lot of the things that you all are saying is biblical. We but agree. what we're doing is reading it out the Bible, but you're saying that don't read the Bible. Let's say God spoke to you. He didn't give you no solution. Well, he gave me a solution. So what is it? We have got to come together. We got to go out there in the community and, and retake our streets back. A joint effort. A joint effort. We got what the Bible says, which we all profess we believe, is that this has to come first. Can two walk together? Except they be agreed. We can't walk together if we believe in a different doctrine. That's where the problem is at. This is Officer Simakaya out of IUIC Chicago. So we just completed a church sit down. The major stumbling block of coming into agreement is understanding that we have to keep God's laws. Doctrine is the primary thing. So, hey, Shalom, Most High, Christ bless. Lord, we'll we see you on the next one. We meet again. Bless you. Mm -hmm. And so that 15 year old kid that was murdered, um, you know, again, we, how do we how do we change what's plaguing our community? How do we change those things? How do we change the fact that our children can't walk the streets safe? How do we change the fact that our elderly people can't walk the streets safe? So again, not here to be adverse, not here to talk religion or anything like that. We're here to talk about what can we do together to partner. And so I don't even want to introduce who's here. I don't, you know, we can do that. We can go from there. We, we, I introduce us and our side. I don't meet, know who's here with us, with you all. So my name is Simakaya. Simakaya Israel. My name is Hosea. Nice to meet you, brothers. I'm Ariel. I'm Judah. I'm Zariah. Mm -hmm. David. And Zariah. <clears throat> okay. Nice right. meeting you guys. Nice, nice meeting you all. It's a pleasure. Too. And so again, you know, this, this is this meeting is for us to discuss ideas we can work together, what we can do um together so again um the only other person that may show up is uh dr Derek jones pastor new zion i hope that he can schedule will permit him to get here but i do have a hard stop at seven we got another event that i forgot about so all right where do we start what do we do with like um um what kind of grassroots programs that we can come together to work on to do some things that we can can partner with um to make make a difference in our in our neighborhoods in our community and so just so you know about the history of St. Michael, I'm going to let some of you all see what you got to say. Um, we're at ground zero of the heroin epidemic in the city of Chicago. According to Mayor Johnson's task force, ground zero of the heroin epidemic in Chicago is one block away from here. And that's the, the war zone. That's what we're dealing with. Um, crime in the West Garfield community. West Garfield community is under siege. Um, Browns are coming in, buying up everything that the, that the European Americans are buying. And uh, home ownership for black Americans in West Garfield is all time low. So, you know, again, um, what can we do for some grassroots initiatives to come together to have some, 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 uh, some, some programs to better our community? So. I guess we got something right away. Yeah. Um, so primarily what we do is, and we are in conjunction with exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, but we where we like to start, because it's one thing, there's a lot of programs when it comes to offering, let's say, shelter or finances or education or jobs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But we have to make sure that we start with the mind. Our people would never change, even if we have all of these things in place, our people's minds have to change. Mm -hmm. And we already know through our history and our, our history here in America that we were made slaves here. But a lot of our, our people don't even know why they were made slaves. They don't know who they are, where they come from. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a nationality. We don't have a, a heritage. We don't have an inheritance. We don't have any of that. So we're really like a roaming lost people. Mm -hmm. So before we can take the measures of uh, 
cleaning up the streets. We have to clean up the mind of our people. Mm-hmm. And our, the way we approach, the way that God mm-hmm. wants us to approach it, uh, is we have to give our people back their nationality. So what we teach is that the uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the diaspora of the slave trade, they are the biblical Israelites by bloodline, not spiritual, not Gentiles converted. They are the Israelites. And we have to understand and uh, show our people that we are in the conditions that we are going through because we broke God's commandments. When God made a covenant with us, when he led us out of Egypt, we said that we were going to do X, Y, and Z, and we did not. And he has been punishing us throughout uh, history, and he still is, but he's also calling us unto repentance. Because once we start to clean up the mind, then we can start cleaning up, uh, uh, dealing with, you know, providing jobs, dealing with the heroin addict. Because <clears throat> becoming a heroin addict, that's in the condition of the mind. That's an, an addiction. That's something that's here. But if the people are not, they don't see, uh, let me get Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bro, hold on. Now. Yes, sir. Wait, 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 wait. God. I told Brother Wilson, I didn't, I didn't I don't want to, I don't want to start going back and forth about how we interpret scripture. No, no, no. I don't no, want to do that. We're not doing that. I'm, I'm just, I'm okay. using scripture to convey our point and our message. Everything that we do is Bible based. So, okay. And so, everything that we, I want to say to say everything yes, that we do is Bible based as well. But right now with this conversation that we're about was today, because I don't want to, I don't want to, because I know, because. We talked in the barbershop. I, I, that's how I met. That's how I met. Um, brother, how you say your first name? Simakaya. Simakaya. We met in the barbershop at only on College Grove. And so my my point is, I, I, I know everything you do is biblically based. Everything we do, every program that we have here is biblically based. But what I'm looking for today from you all is not, that's not, I, I, I know what you believe. I, I know that. But how can we have programs in our communities? I understand what you're saying, but we, we got to change our community right. right now the streets are running red with black blood mm-hmm. that's what the streets running red with mm-hmm. and so i you know how do we i'm thinking like you know like what i was thinking of my way and i was in my prayer time last night about this meeting um how can we come together and do safe passage and make sure our children can get to school we can't afford to continue to keep losing our young people i'm not i'm not here to we can, we can, I understand y'all, we want to start flipping pages and do that and quote scripture and let me get this. I'm not looking for that today, bro. I mean, really, honestly, I, I'm looking for us to, what can we do? We talked about the barbershop. What can we do together? There has to be something. What kind of programs? I like, like, for instance, for instance, let me say, let me say, let me say this testimony. <clears throat> I just had my fourth heart attack. First Sunday of March, I had my fourth heart attack. But I had, I used to have a business partner that is now Hebrew Israelite, and he, we we just not doing business anymore because he's not doing that business. He got hurt on the job, and we're not doing that business. He said, "Brother, change your diet." He's, I can show you what to eat to change your diet. Let me educate you on how to eat to to change what's impacting you and causing you to have these heart attacks. Help me, help us come up with some programs to to teach our people to to live better, do better. I understand that we can go here all day long. I we I, I understand. I, I need we need to come together and reach out to the community. You got anything? Does anybody else? Can say? I don't want to do all the talking. Yeah, I want to ask right, one question. Uh, uh, do any of us in here uh, in business? Do we own anything? Well, I, I started me a business recently. What, what business, business you run? Construction. Construction. Yes. So you can hire some brothers. Yes. Great. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. What you what you look. I manufacture backpacks. Good. So we can have some brothers. Yeah. What? Yeah. Anybody else? I have my own business. Good. And, uh, That's the foundation we're trying to build. Yeah. Right. So that we can gather in some some, yeah. some brothers. I'm glad you. And then we can grow from there. And then we can change minds. And then we can build. We can yeah. debate until the cows come on. So, yeah. We as black, we we are navigating a system that is built for us at the bottom of the ladder. And the only way we can come up out of the bottom of the ladder is we got to be able to help each other. Right. Mind wise as well as financial wise. Right. We, 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 we can talk about change of mind forever. Mm-hmm. We got some of the smartest people in the world. Mm-hmm. We have invented everything, but we, we, we don't have no power. Right. Amen. We don't have no financial mm-hmm. backing. So we 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 constantly navigating the system mm-hmm. that is built against us mm-hmm. from zero to ten is built against mm-hmm. us. How do we navigate that system? Right. 
in our own neighborhood. How do we navigate that system? We we, we got a police department down here. In our, on our own neighborhood. How many of us in the police department? How many of us work for the uh, teachers? Uh, how many of us in the streets and sands? We have to navigate those systems. And you have to learn how to feed yourself. Amen. Amen. Uh, in order to have a sound mind. Yeah. We could get scripture, foundation, we could get spiritual, but you own a business. You so awesome. okay. uh, see, I, I, I know I, we, 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 we can talk about that. So we're, we're talking about how yeah, can we can get brothers yeah. Yeah. to lay down guns and knives mm -hmm. and not fight against each other. Yeah. Right. Not see, 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 I'm old school. Mm -hmm. See, when we grew up, me and this brother, we could fight all day. But after we get through fighting, we'll hug each other. Right. We'll forgive each other. So what's the difference we got, we now? Got, we got young brothers now, we got guns, three or four guns. So what's how, the, how do we get our minds from that? And how can we help them to grow? How can we, how can we help them to grow and develop? You said, what's the difference from then and now? Yes. Well, it was so-called a... Uh, you had, well, the, the guys who were on the street, who wanted to be on the street and was about the street, there was a so-called point of authority, a uh, hierarchy. Uh, so there's no hierarchy anymore. Okay. Um, people do whatever they want to do. The same gang that I'm in, because <clears throat> I get on the phone and, and say something about you or your girlfriend, you come out and catch me and kill me, and I'm in the same gang. So there's no, there's no hierarchies. There's no authority. I li I live right here in the 4100 on Monroe. Um, I, I have not strayed far. I don't live in this area anymore, but I haven't strayed far. Mm -hmm. And I can remember as a young kid, because um, I was in what third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, went to Austin graduated from Whitney Young, but I can remember sitting in that window uh, watching the guys. I knew if I came outside, there was going to be a problem. I had to fight or I was going to get. I, I couldn't even come across this street here, Keeler. I lived in the 4200. This is the 4100. I couldn't come across the street. But what I'm getting at is I couldn't go into these programs. Uh, there are some kids. There are some teens. In this Garfield Park area, they don't venture out. They're afraid to leave their blocks. They probably never has been downtown before. So we're looking at, and we have a 501 C, uh, C3 real estate and uh, another programs, other programs. But we're trying to go in and get some of these people. How do we go in and reach some of these people? And And you guys... Uh, we want to partner with you all to see uh, what the initiative is. How do we go in? We can't beat people over the head with right. scripture. Right. They're not, you know, some of them may quote it better than we do. But the thing of it is, is that we have to have something to offer them. We have to pull them some kind of way, get them out, programs, uh, initiatives, uh, set it up here where they can come in. They have all kind of STEM programs, all kind of different uh, learning uh, opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, but how do we get them? Yeah, I want to jump in. I want to jump in. Come on, come on, coach. So, on one of the one of the programs that we are doing, and we we done one here a couple of uh, couple what, about a month ago. Mm -hmm. We did a, what we call a youth violence, youth conflict and violence rescue. Am I saying youth, uh, youth, youth violence, violence and conflict violence. resolution mm -hmm. seminar? Those are just something that we're doing. We have one scheduled May 11th. Where, mm -hmm. where they come in and we teach them how to resolve conflict versus, okay, you have an issue with me, learn how to talk it out versus going and get a gun, even fighting. The, the Bible, and that's that's what we like, we use the Bible as our main source. That's why we all came with our Bibles. It's not that we're trying to beat y'all over the head with the Bible or get y'all to understand our doctrine. We're trying to show you, we're trying to, we understand that you all have read the Bible. We understand that. But the thing is, the 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 problem in our communities is that the that they don't have the Bible. They don't know who they are. They don't know 
they don't know why they're living in the conditions that they're in. Mm -hmm. And the only way they're going to know that is through the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us why we're in the conditions that we're in. And it's when, when I say we, we all understand mm -hmm. that the blacks, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we live in the worst conditions, mm -hmm. no matter where you go, state to state. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the major, the biggest, the biggest, um, <clears throat> the biggest question is, uh, most of our people don't understand it. So that's why you have the issue where the, this game stay right across the street from this game, but they can't they can't cross them boundaries. They without without shooting at each other. You got brothers fighting each other other over women. If so, they knew, if so, they learned, and not to cut you off. So you're telling me, uh, if I know my heritage, my black heritage, or I uh, understand uh, about being a slave or why we came out of slavery or how it started or whatever. You mean to tell me if you run up on me on a brother on the corner and tell him or quote that scripture to him and tell him, well, you know, this, this and this is happening because you don't know this. Well, these guys are on the corner because there's no, they're under, been underserved, generational, under uh, been underserved for generations. So I can understand coming at them at a later date with uh, why this is this and this is that. But we need right now to figure a way to provide, uh, give them hope, mm -hmm. uh, get them out, get, there's diamonds in the rough around yeah. in these areas. Absolutely. People, women, young girls, teenagers, young boys, but they're afraid mm -hmm. uh, and we need to be able to and, and the church here is a a, a safe haven mm -hmm. for those initiatives. We got to put them together and, and get them out. I want to read two scriptures. I'm sorry, because I, I want to address something. Like, we ain't trying to beat nobody over the head, but I want to I want to convey a point because you mentioned uh, about if well, it's all that's going to change because if they know who they are, it will change. But I'm going to show you why. Is that for every single soul that we touch? No. And is it just based on the fact that you know that you're an Israelite? No, that's not what I'm saying. There's something that comes behind it. And I want to show you through the scriptures. It's not going to be long-winded. Can I get Deuteronomy 28 and 28? I just want to touch a few points. <clears throat> Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Come on. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. So God has smitten our people with madness. That's why we lead in abortions. That's why we lead on heroin. That's why we lead in drugs, alcoholism. We out here bugged out our mind. You walk outside up and down Madison, our people are smitten with madness. Watch this. Come on. And blindness. Go ahead. And astonishment of heart. And astonishment of heart. Our minds are, have been dilapidated in this country. Come on. And thou shalt grow at noonday. Come on. As the blind grow in darkness. Meaning what? Our people in their mind, they don't see these solutions. A lot of our people don't look at STEM as a solution. A lot of our people lack self-esteem. So how can you give somebody a job or anything that has no solution or sees no way mm -hmm. out? Unless, because what, what's going to come with it? Read on. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Why? Anything that we try to do outside of God, because if you examine all the leaders that came before us, Everything that we have done, we have set God aside and we went into politics. We went into other various different religions. We went into other various programs, but we never counseled with God. And that has been our problem. That has been our problem. Read on. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. That's our condition. But give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Really quick. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people it, uh -huh. unto himself. So, God, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to finish my point. I'm going to let you go. I want to finish my point. Read that part one more time. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now, is everybody going to believe that? Of course not. They're not all going to believe it. However, if I had understanding that I was an Israelite and I believed and I understood why I was going through the conditions that I was going through, and because I'm breaking God's commandments, for example, how can I get in a business with you? You spoke about uh, hiring brothers, right? Let's say I started a business, right? But my brother's a thief. How can, can you run a business with a thief? No, that doesn't work, right? If can I run any type of program if I'm dealing with an adulterer, a person that's got a spirit of murder? Can I deal with, you can't build anything with spirits like that. You have to deal with the mind. 
you have to give the people back their but heritage. We, we have to and have something there has to, to be a moral, moral right. first. Though. There has to right. be a moral compass. Right. You, 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 you. We can debate that yeah. and talk about that yeah. because we caught in the system. I could go down on the corner there, five or six brothers down there with their pants hanging down, and I could talk to them all day. Mm -hmm. But after I get through talking to them, how can I convince them that I got something that could show them that they could have a, a better lifestyle, a better opportunity in life? Mm -hmm. So this is the thing. Uh, that, 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 that will reframe their mind because they're already thinking, hey, I ain't going to live till I get grown. So I'm a gangbanger. So I'm, I, my, my, my thing is headed to the pen. <clears throat> huh? So, but I ain't got nothing else to offer them. So if I got something else to offer them, uh, you, you, they might be a thief, might be a mar uh, murderer, a robber, or whatever. But I still ain't got nothing to offer them. So how they gonna eat? Their, their job is I'm figuring out how to eat. I'm doing wrong, but I'm figuring out how to survive. But we offer them no survival. We, we offer them no pathway. So after we get through dealing with all of that, to touch on that, we still we still got to offer them a pathway. Right, which we, we agree. We, we, which we agree. Yeah, we're not saying not to <laughs> offer it. What we're saying is we cannot dismiss. Because because they're not saying it either. Hey, what what we're talking about, sir. Yeah. Um, you guys seem to think that us as individuals, all we can do, well, one thing that we can do is set an example. If folks see something, they want to mimic what they see. But we have to find an incentive. Before we can deal with mine, we need to get, when we're talking about them and they, we need to get them in a position where we can offer them an incentive to change their way of thinking. Because you can read them scripts. They don't understand that stuff that you read out the Bible. They don't understand that. You have to give them something that they can relate to, that they can say, okay, yeah, maybe we can give that a try. Let's come up with an incentive to get them from out there in here. And collectively, you can cultivate their mind to want to change for better things. And when he says in here, we're not talking about it here. We're talking about if, if there's going to be people that can relate to what you all are saying more so than, than, than what we're saying. And I, I don't want to make this us and them, but I told Brother Wilson, I talked to Brother Wilson on the phone extensively about this. And I, I thought I had made myself clear. I was looking for us to come together to find some type of solutions to work together. Like Reverend Graham said, if you have companies that you can have, we got, I got, I got, we got a guy right now, and I don't call no names, that just got out of incarceration. He's having the hardest time finding work, finding things. So what we had to do was the skills that he learned while he was incarcerated. We had to tell him, okay, well, let's, let's, let's change your thought of thinking instead of you asking somebody for a job since you learned this trade in penitentiary, let's now make this trade your business. And that's we we had to change his thinking, and that's all we're look, I'm looking for today. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not looking. Y'all, we can we can flip pages and do all of that. I'm, 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 and I, I get it. But I so I so I was very specific with Brother Wilson. I, my my thing with the goal of today. I let me tell y'all something. I've taken more flack as the pastor and leader of this church about this meeting. I had one of my leaders call me yesterday, and and borderline disrespect me because I agreed to do this. And I thought that we could come together and find some ways to change our neighbors. Even if, if, if we could agree that once a month, uh, once a, every other week, that we go to this neighborhood as black men, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Hebrew, Israelite, and we can take back our communities. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I asked these brothers to be here. That's why I told these brothers to trust me 
enough as your pastor and leading the man that God speaks to, to come here with me so we can have this dialogue. That's why I invited New Zion and Pastor Jones, he's my friend. And I said, we, we, not, we not coming. We not coming to be a part of video propaganda. We coming to come up with some solutions. I don't, I've done, since being the pastor of this church, in two years, I've done more young people film. I've been preaching and pastoring. I'll celebrate 20 years in gospel ministry in June. I've done more funeral for young people since I've been at this church in two years than I've done in 20 years in gospel ministry. Mm. I'm not looking to be adversarial. I'm not looking for you to quote scripture and tell me all that. I'm not looking. I know that. What I need us to do is if we can find a way to work together, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm looking for. I'm not, I'm not looking to be adversarial. Go ahead, Deacon. I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you for a minute. I've been on both sides of the road. I coach many teams, women, men, women. What do what 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 what's gonna take us to reach our young people? You know? It ain't about going in the Bible or nothing. What they talking about? You they so gone, they so gone now. That we need to take our time and we train them not only in the Bible in life. I live right next door to they took over the building, sell drugs. I can't sleep at night because give me three, give me four. But when they see me on the street, I get total respect because I'm gonna respect them. I wanna, I was a young man. I want to train. I want, I, I want to see where you come from, hard to hard. What you know? Nobody, mama, daddy, they didn't, they, they ain't raised no more. The street is raising our kids, so we can sit up and debate on how 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 much we can. We can go to your scripture. I believe in scripture. I believe in the preachers. But I believe in the order, order for us to do right now, we gotta listen to them too. They lost. How can we find them? How can we help them? Besides, we slapping the Bible in their face. Or we want you to get baptized, this and that. No. Can you feel the pain that you that he feel? We can always say, oh, yeah, I got a job, but I don't want to have no beef or nothing like that. They don't know no better. Anybody agree with me? They don't know no better. Because if they did, they can do better. Now, mama, mama, what, 15? Grandmama, 24? You got great-grandmama, 34? So one of the girls say, hey, mama, won't you, uh, won't you watch my baby? Well, I'm going to the club too. So who's there to take them to church? If we don't, as young men or men, put it in their mind that what you're doing ain't right. It's hurting, not only hurting the deacon or you, it's hurting our whole community. If we can rise them up and lift them up, we have no problem communicate with them. Right now they see nothing but the drugs on the street, quick dollar, the harem, the rocks, the blows. They see, that. that's what they're getting taught. They're, I got a young man on my block, he's 12 years old, been selling drugs since he was nine. Nine years old. They living in this house next to me. She had to get up, go to school the next day. They won't say rocks and blows. You know, school, I know you young, I'm just young man to speak, but I wasn't with me. He and I met in the 80s, and all of us was at that barbershop that day. I don't, I don't think, I don't remember any other faces that was in that room that day or whatever, at the barbershop. And I told him, I said, I said, brother, I work with you. I made up my mind that day, and then when I heard that he had got my number, that y'all got my number from the barbershop, I'm with, but I would, let's, let's, let's find some, some initiatives that we can do. <coughs> Excuse me, come on, come on. Well, so all I was gonna say was, for so one, I seen you guys outside before. I don't know how long it's been, but um, when I seen you guys, I was working. And you guys was outside for like Sunday nights somewhere, but, and I seen one guy. He had like a uniform on or something. But I remember seeing you specifically. I don't know why. It's because you, you buff, and I'm trying to work out myself. But uh, that stood out to me that you guys were out there. You know, you see the Jehovah Witnesses going door to door, and to be in that specific area that you guys were in. For me, I'm only 31 years old, and it stood out to me because what's lost in our community is love. End of the day, love. It don't got nothing to do with the denomination, none of that. When Rev told us that he was doing this, 
I fell in love with it. Because like I told him before, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. Catholic, get everybody together. Because it's not about denomination. At the end of the day, if we do read the Bible, one thing that stands out to me about it, and I don't know the whole Bible, and I'm just going to paraphrase this one scripture. God is love. So that's one thing we're supposed to do is always give love. And like I said, when I seen you guys out there, that stood out to me because not only are you probably reaching out in regards to your denomination or whatever, but for more, more so than anything, you, you're giving off love. You're showing love. And that's what a lot of black is. One guy, he's 46 years old. I work with him. And I said, man, you should come to my church Easter for Resurrection Sunday. He said, no, nah, man, I'm, my, I'm God. I don't believe in church. I said, oh, well, why not? What's going on? Talk to him. He said, man, I was hurt. I was hurt. And that's all he had to say. He didn't have to go in detail. Yes, we did talk. I'm not going to force religion on him. None of that. We just still talk as, as men. And I expressed and related to him. And now he's willing to come, but it's still he still has to deal with that hurt. And how he deal with that hurt is maybe I have to introduce him to the pastor or whatever, because I know I'm not probably equipped enough uh, mentally or whatever the case may be to really get him back together for real from the hurt that he has experienced with church. But like I said, the only thing I can express to him is one, is love. And then also not only just to him, but any other young man, even affiliated with this church, I call him often and I just, I don't try to beat religious. Hey man, you read your Bible? No, what's going on, bro? Just loving on them because that's what they need. You know what I'm saying? If you continue to call, and I'm pretty sure you guys have done it too. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I think that's one thing that'll help the community. And again, it's not about denomination, but just love itself and showing a man how to be a man. So, so I just want to, I want to read, because the thing about it is, a lot of the things that you all are saying is biblical. We, but we agree. what we're doing is reading it out the Bible, but you're saying that don't read the Bible. So the thing about it is this, if you take a thief off the street and give him a job, he's still going to be a thief. Not if you, if you, if you, let me finish. If you, yeah, come on, he's still, still going to be a thief. It's not, oh, let me throw this bait out there to pull you in with this job and then change your mind. It's better to change the mind and then that person is going to be able to think clearly to work that job and be effective with that job. We're not saying don't go get a job, don't have a program to go out there and go to the streets. Because like the brother said, can I just, no, I just no, want to I'm finish. Not, I just want to finish. It's related I sat to back what you're saying. Point, but I want to I'm I agreeing with you. Point. I, but I need to say this. But I want to finish my point. Okay. I, there was many things that I wanted to say, when you okay. were and I didn't cut you off. I let okay. you finish your thought. I'm sorry, but this is it's hitting home. No, exactly saying, what you're saying. You're saying. So no, let you're Nehemiah saying. chapter 8 and 8. And I'm going to be quick. I'm not going to be long with it. Get Nehemiah 8 and 8. Because a lot of times, because we read the Bible, a lot of people get defensive. And it's like we, we, we pound you over the head with the Bible. And that's no, not the case. That's we're not, not what we're, we're not getting defensive. We're not, we're not getting defensive. But that wasn't, I talked about, I talked to Brother Wilson. Saying, that, that wasn't what we wanted the meeting to be. We wanted to talk to like that anti-violence program like the, you talked about. But I'm not, but go ahead. But this thing, ahead. even with the anti-violence, we, that's yeah, we're doing that. But our primary, whatever we do, our primary focus is the Bible first, first and foremost, because that's we, because all of us, we come from different walks of life. Many of us was on the streets, right? Many of us was selling the drugs, doing right. things. Just, just as many of y'all, like I'm pretty sure, could attend a test of those things as well. But it's the Bible that actually changed our mind first, and then we was able to see clearly, like, okay, you know what? I can't do this, so let me do this. But read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. So this Bible is relevant today. I, yeah, our people don't understand the Bible, but that's why we go out in the primary. We go out and meet them where they at and we show them what the Bible is saying and show it how it show it. So to give them the understanding so that they can see that the Bible relates to them, to us as a people, because the Bible is very like you read in Deuteronomy 28. The Bible details the life of a black man verbatim. So when our people say, a lot of our people, like the brother just mentioned, a lot of our people were hurt by the church. So a lot of, a lot of them people that were hurt by the church, when whatever, whatever was happening, they reject the Bible with that. And the Bible doesn't have to, whatever hurt they experienced, the Bible don't got nothing to do with it. Read on. In Nehemiah, which is, read now. Yeah, read now. In Nehemiah, which is Tarshita, and Ezra, the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said it to all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God, mourn not, nor weep. But all the people wept 
when they heard the words of the law. Then he said it to them. So all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. So when we meet them, we can meet them, yes, we can meet them with the programs, with jobs and all of that, but primarily like, hey, okay, we got this job, but primarily, hey, you gotta stop selling drugs. You gotta stop being a thief. You gotta stop lying. You gotta stop hating your brother. We the same people, why would you hate me? You, the scriptures, we, we know the Bible say you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So part of you loving you, the, 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 the main thing of you loving your neighbor as you love yourself, if you love your neighbor, if you love yourself, you're not gonna wanna kill your brother in the streets. If you love yourself, you're not going to want to sell drugs to your brother in the street because you understand when you're selling drugs to him, you're actually destroying yourself because now you're destroying, you you add to the flavor of destroying your community. And that's what we teach. And one more, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 11. And this is this is why we, we you see, you see, say, you've seen us on the streets. We teach on the streets. We also, in settings like this, we, we, we teach in more in settings like you see, we met you in a barbershop. The whole, the, the, the problem in our community is not programs. That's not gonna solve, because we have, there's many programs when you go through the city of Chicago, there's many programs that are set up that's providing jobs. There's many programs that are set up that are providing all type of things, but yet we still have the same problem in our community. And the, the, the problem, there has to be a tangible, so a, I don't even wanna say tangible, there has to be a, a solution to deal with the root of the problem. The job We're is not, not the root of the problem. We're not disagreeing. Here's, here's my problem with this. Here's my problem with this. We're saying the same stuff. Going so we're going around it. This is my problem. That's we're saying the same no, stuff, no and I was that. hoping that we could come together because we're saying the same thing from a different lens. You're saying it from your lens. We're saying it from our lens, but we're not coming up with any solutions together. That's what I'm saying. It. We're saying the same thing. Doesn't we're saying the same so thing. Go ahead, so We're saying the same thing. We're trying to do. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I'm, I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna be quick because, and I'm. This is the this is the issue. The reason why it's like y'all saying the same thing and we saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing as it re, as it results to physical things of going in the community, providing jobs, this, that, and the third but a fine line that you can't see, we're not saying the same thing. And the, the same thing that we're not saying, drop that, and I'm, I'm gonna leave it with this. <coughs> Amos chapter three. Three, three, three. Yep. Because we're, we're saying the same thing, but we're not saying the same thing. And this, I'm, I'm gonna explain why. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Book of Amos chapter three and verse three. Can two walk together, except they be agreed? We can't walk together if we believe in a different doctrine. That's where the problem is at, because we don't believe the same thing as far as doctrine wise. We, we, we hold the same Bible, but we don't believe in the same doctrine, okay. and that's where the that's where the, the that's where the disconnect is at. Well, because with us, we believe the Bible, and you all know we believe in the Bible. Well, then I and wish we had a this what, meeting, and that's what. Then you wasted my time. Point. Let me no, you wasted my point. time, and you said we can't we can't point. walk together. I came together. I came here. And I went to the church. I brought this to my church, to the church where I lead as a pastor. That we hope we could find a way, put aside doctrinal differences, to meet for the betterment of our community. Now, if you telling me we can't walk together as we agree, then right here, then then we just wasted an hour of my time. And I, I got to go back to my church and tell my church this was a non-productive meeting because if we're not going to work towards any solutions, I didn't come here. I didn't stand. You don't understand the heat I'm up under right now about this meeting. Okay. I didn't come here so to us to do that. We can't come together through your time. No problem. We can't come we here. Can't end it right now. If we didn't, no, we can't no, come together with some solutions. The solution is the Bible. That's okay. the solution. We, that's, agree. That's we agree with you. We agree, we agree with that. No, you don't. So okay. we, what we can do Are you just to be peaceful us? because it's it's evident with it's just not. the way the meeting is going. It's it's. Because, We're gonna conclude because, the meeting. See, look, because what, can they, I say something? Fruitless for us to can sit I say and go back and before forth. you s go ahead. sit down go for a minute? Go ahead. Sit I, down I'm, for I'm a minute. Listen, guy. The, listen. The, listen. The, 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 listen. I'm gonna sit down. This situation right now, when you said that there was this fine line, mm -hmm. there's no line. You drew that line. Mm -hmm. Hold on. We're, to we're totally agreeing with everything you're saying. You mentioned about, can you give a thief a job? Yes, you can. It, it, that mo and if you 
See, most people quote and script, and we could go through the context, what pretext, whatever, all these different things. And that's but, the thing. And that's where we, that's on. where there's a disconnect. Wait, hold on. No, I'm you sorry, I'm cutting you off, but that's where there's a disconnect. Because no, it's we read not. The Bible. And the words out of your mouth is ridiculing us for reading the Bible. Really? No, we're we not. It, people we say no, we're not. not. We're not ridiculing Come on, you. Come on, Dick Ross. Yes, you are. Because you're saying that well, anybody can preach up the Bible and read the Bible. That's ridiculing what we're doing. No, I didn't just say that. Let's let, let, let get Ross. As far as they go, they're not going to get it like that. You can read it to them. That's, that's, that's not true. They gonna, they gonna I got like it like that. But he what got it like that? Right. Hosea got but look, it like you wanted that. something. You wanted to change, though. Exactly. No, I didn't want to change when I got it. I actually did it. I was in the streets. So, I didn't so want nothing to be with God. Me, how long did it take for you to make the change? Right away. No, actually, it took me a year. I didn't take this truth serious after a year when I first found out what I what I was and what put was going on. For you. You put Say it again. In. Individual put their work into you, though, right? I had, as far as communicating, getting your mind, like you were saying, getting your mind together. I had to put the work in. But the point is. This is, I want to make a point. I want to make a point. First Corinthians chapter one, foolishness mm -hmm. of preaching, foolishness of preaching. Give me that. Because this is what's, this is what's wrong with our community. And I'm going to tell you what this is, because God has our number. This was what's wrong with us. This, this is exactly what y'all say. First Corinthians one, I believe it's verse 21, right? Yeah. Give me that. The book of first Corinthians chapter one and verse 21. Because we don't think the Bible, a lot of us, we truly don't believe that God has the solution. Well, we're trying to show you that God does have the solution. It's literally written in the book. book. We know that. We're trying to say, no, I don't want to read that. What do you think? What do you think? Read it. The book of first Corinthians chapter one and verse 21. Come on. But after that, in the wisdom of God, uh -huh. the world by wisdom knew not God. A lot of our people, we don't know God. We think and profess we know God, but we don't because we won't even do what he say. Come on. It pleased God. It says it pleased God. We say we believe in God. You say you believe in God. Us as pastors and us as ambassadors of Christ, we have to do what is pleasing unto God. Am I right or am I wrong? I believe I'm right. The scripture says I'm right. I know I'm right. Read on. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching. By the foolishness of preaching. I know right now this might seem very foolish, but I guarantee you it is not. It is not foolish. But in our carnal minds, in our carnal minds, we think it foolish. We think, well, hold on. If the brother ain't got no money, he can't eat what the Bible going to do. Bruh, didn't the script, if the scripture say, uh, I don't want to pull it. No, I do want to pull it. Give me that in Matthew chapter uh, 6. <clears throat> you know what I want, right? Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, yes, and all sir. things will be yeah. added unto thee. Give me that. Matthew chapter 6. 33. Cool. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God uh -huh. and his righteousness. And his righteousness. Read. And all these things shall be added unto you. That's the message. That's God's message. Seek righteousness and all these things will be uh, will be yes, given unto you. But the thing is, we don't God. believe in God. We profess we do, but we really don't right. because we think we could do it without God. And that is our problem. You made a statement and said, I was looking for God. I was never looking for God. I didn't believe in God. Yeah, so, but you said, was I looking for it, right? You asked me a question. You said, was I looking for it? Was I searching for something? I wasn't. What? A lot of us wasn't doing that, but we think less of God or we think God is not strong or his words is not good enough to where he can't reach or touch a soul out there that has no hope. Our people out there they ain't got no hope. This right here gives us hope. When talk correctly we already know that. We right. already so, understand so that in, we in understand action. that that Bible is, gives us hope. Right. We're only thing on. we're doing and we're not saying that you guys are doing it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. We're trying to, we're going to use both initiatives. Okay. We're going to use an initiative to change the thief by giving him another way out. Right. And in the same, and in the same breath, we're going to teach him that word. Exactly. And so that's, that's what, what we want to come with. That's what we want to come with. We, but, and, but the way it's being posed, the way that is, no, I don't bring think that you're against us. What's being posed is, is, is as if your solution to the carnal uh, to the carnal side of the things is the only solution to bring them to God. But what the Bible says, which we all profess we believe, is that this has to come first in conjunction with it. Okay. But whatever okay. solutions we have to come up with, we cannot dismiss this. We can't move in the spirit. We're not saying dismiss this. We can't move in the spirit where it's like, well, I don't want to hear that. Or how do we we're do not, this before we bring them today? We're not, we're the Bible saying. says this has to be established first. Okay. Okay. So we have what can we come up with? 
What can we come up with to where we are establishing sound doctrine and providing these carnal that's things? That's what I thought we were coming to And do. that's what we want to do, but we cannot dismiss this. I didn't say dismiss that. I never suggested that. Okay. I never suggested that. Yes. I still said the same thing I said when I met him and him. How can we work together? That's all I'm looking for. I didn't come here to do that. When I say and dismiss that, I believe that Sunday, any, anybody from St. Michael tell you Sunday, I told them all I got to give you is the word of God. I told them that Sunday. Yes, that's everybody, that's what I yeah. said Sunday. Mm -hmm. I said, all I got is the word of God for you. I got nothing else for you but the word of God. And that's what I told the church Sunday. And so and we're not saying, we're not disagreeing with you, but I'm saying what I was looking for today when I told her was on the phone, I was looking for today is for us to come up with some grassroots initiatives. I'm not saying, listen, that's all I got. Mm -hmm. That's all I got is that word. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. And it's the foolishness of preaching that make me believe that the, the, that what's in that book will change somebody. Mm -hmm. In spite of what they where they at in life, that's what I believe. All I was open for today is that we, and I got this image in my head when the crypt from the blood came together, because I'm telling you, if we could ever, as a race of people, put against, put aside our differences, yes, if we could just put aside our differences and come together for the betterment of us, mm -hmm. and there are some people that I will never reach, that you will reach, there are some people, and I was hoping that we could come together and figure out ways to do that, to feed our community, mm -hmm. to to help. Like I'm, I'm telling you, one thing I got in my head, really. And I'm, I'll tell you, when I met this in um in, in the barbershop, I said, I work with you. I work with you all. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we could go and you know, if, if it's if it's go and our kids and we go in because some of you may have a background where you can go and have a conversation with somebody who was in the game because you was in the game and you know how to speak them in that language and go talk to them and say. Let's make this corridor right here. We gonna come and police this corridor. You know, we gotta take our streets back. Mm -hmm. And I, we, I can't, I can't do that by myself. So, so I got the chairman here, 80, 80 years, 80, 81, going 82, yeah. 82 in, in yeah. January next birthday. Wow. And so I'm, I'm, I don't want to take him out there when I go out here and I'm going ahead and minister on these street corners and I go ahead and talk to these brothers. But if, if we together, yeah, I've done that. if we together, See, that's the thing because. What you teach is not what we teach. We teach two different things. So if we come out there together to teach the community, I'm teaching one thing I'll and you're teaching to something. Back. But, but to take the community back, our doctrine has to be the same. Right. Wait, wait, wait. If our doctrine okay. is different, wait. then they're gonna something. be like, well, he just told me this. And they be like, no, this is no, this is what it really is. And it's it's gonna be confusing to them. And they're gonna be like, oh, they supposed to be together, but they saying two different things. And they'll be like, oh, whatever. That's that's and that's where that's where the issue is. Okay. That's because it's, that's why I say it's a fine line. It's a hidden line where, out of, out of, in one in one word, you're saying, "Are oh, we saying the same thing?" But no, we're actually not saying the same thing because we don't teach the same thing. We don't teach the same. We say you got to keep God's commandments. And, and I'm gonna say it. And I know it's it's gonna be rejected, but you all don't teach that same thing. When we say we you, you have to keep God's commandments to the very minute thing as as far as your beard. We, we know that a man growing his beard ain't gonna fix the problems in the community, but it's still a commandment that we must keep as men. So I'm that's what the doctrine is different. Go ahead, bro. Let me say this real quick. So I was part of this program, and I think I'm following Red with, with, with what he's trying to do. It was a program, it was ran by a governor, I can't call his name, but it's called Neighborhood Recovery Initiative. Mm -hmm. And they had a lot of young people they gave jobs to so they won't be on the streets. Mm -hmm. And what that job entailed was they gave us little, they, Two or three days out the week, we had little lessons in the settings just like this, and we went over it. something simple as uh, how to treat your siblings or how to treat your friend. Mm -hmm. And we all discussed on how can we be the, you know, without religion, again, how can you do better to treat your friend or whatever. And, and you would be amazed how young people came together and said this, said that. And then what we did was take that same lesson we learned for the two days and went out there on Friday and Saturdays and just hand out a plug and say, be a better friend. Be a better friend, be a brother, brother, be a brother, sister. Again, nothing with religion, but just all natural. And I think taking out the denomination, like I was saying earlier, and just be natural. And I think that's what Rev was really trying to go and dig into. Again, if if, if a young man going to say, okay, y'all get into a conversation about God and da, da 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 then you go and introduce, okay, well, look, I'm an Israelite or I'm a Christian or whatever the case may be. Then you go into, right. you know what I'm saying? Then they go in deeper, right? That's but 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 we just trying to stay natural 
to try to reach people again and, and just using simple things again like how to be a better friend that that's it so well i, I want to say this brothers i want to say this and i'm going to end like this and simple guy i'm going to say this um <clears throat> I'm not going, my office, my office has to work together to do best, better for us as, as a community and race of people. Um, if, 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 if your hard line is doctrinally, we can't do anything to help our community. If that's the hard line, that's the hard line. That's not what we're saying. But, okay, that, but that's that, not what we're saying. We didn't say, we said we, because of doctrine, we can't work together. Right. We didn't say that we can't help our community. Well, how do we help the community? in spite of the doctrine of differences. We're going to help the community regardless, but the doctrine is the primary of force, course, just we, like he just read. Matthew we're, going 6, going to help the, we're going to do the same thing. The Why doctrine is we the primary thing, together. and the doctrine is God's laws. So that's the that's the leading force. We'll be more powerful together. and um, Not without God's laws. Okay. That's why we're in the condition we're that we're in okay, today. Right. That's the uh, brother, we have basically the same message, no, we don't. but different methods. We don't have the same message. Okay. No, but there's a uh, method the change. The same way you try to reach people, we try to reach the same people to bring them to the same point mm -hmm. it's not with the same. different okay. methods. That's the thing. But the and message is going to be the same. And You're we'll, saying that we we'll, are ignoring we'll, the Bible? We'll stand here and we'll be going back and forth. Just like that's like happened in the barbershop. That's why I said we could just end it because we could, we're just gonna go back and forth. But we're gonna have it's, to we're end gonna go it back and forth. Time. We're gonna be yeah, going back and forth saying the same yeah. thing, Two saying things. that we're teaching the well, same thing when it's not, and we're gonna say it as plain. We don't teach the same thing. Well, I want to say this: the issue is gonna be confused. I want to say this: I, from the bottom of my heart, <clears> from the bottom <throat> of my heart, this is not how I wanted this to end, mm -hmm. and or I did not. This not was the conclusion that I was looking for. That's not what I prayed and asked God to do in this meeting, and um, it's, it's not because I maybe maybe I, I see God is showing me something that if we don't do some things different, God is showing me something really radical that all the generations that we've lost from crack cocaine in the '80s, we have lost generations, and God says if we're going to save our race of people. We have to save a generation. And if we can figure out a way to do it differently than this right here, we're not going to save that generation. And the problem is, well, the problem is we're falling further and further behind. And I told you when I told you in the barbershop, when you was talking about the black preacher in the black church, that's not all of us are doing what you say, what you were saying in the barbershop. Don't let the church, this church, this building fool you. Don't let this building fool you. We are, this, this building is, is, is what God has done, but we are fighting every day over here. And I, I, I was hoping, I, I, on the phone, I was hoping that this meeting would go differently. Because I'm telling you, the flag I've taken to have this sit down, and for nothing positive for us to come to say, our next step is going to be this. We're going to go out in the community and do this. We're going to, listen, bro, even, even if we had agreed that we're going to buy six loaves of bread and go out there and feed as many people as we could together. Yeah. That's all I was looking for. I got a question. How did God say we're supposed to save the people? The word we, we what I'm not saying it's not the word. I'm saying we got we still got we no, have to go out there and take that. spoke to you and said that if we don't we have to save this generation. We so have to save the God, generation. We let's have just to say, I'm going to entertain a thought. Let's say God spoke to you. He didn't give you no solution. Oh, he gave me a solution. So what is it? We have got to come together. We got to go out there in the community and, and retake our streets back. A joint effort. A joint effort. We got to go back and do that together. We got to go back. We can't keep burying these kids. So I got a question. Is there any, uh, want, is there uh, any uh, event? that you think we can come and collab together, like you said, uh, get some clothes and give them away or some food, give them away. That way, you know what I'm saying, going out there to the brother, again, not using religion, just say, hey, what's up, bro? I got some clothes, you need something? Or you need some food? Well, let's, let's see how God says to do it. What's his process first? Um, let me get Acts chapter three, verse 19. Pastor, we don't went into the next meeting. Okay, I'll be in a second. Acts chapter three, verse 19. 
The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So the Bible commands us to repent and be converted. Before the people get saved, that read on. That your sins may be blotted out. That our sins may be blotted out. A lot of us are in the midst of a lot of evil. Our people are in the midst of a lot of evil. And you're not going to turn it around by giving them a dollar or a loaf of bread. I'm sorry, that's not the solution. Everybody knows that if you went out there, if you went outside right now and you saw a crackhead and you just gave him some money, he's going to he gonna go get more crack. That's, right. that's the same thing with our people. Everybody just ain't crackheads. Some brothers, they just murder addicts. Some brothers, they just drug. They smoke weed. They got different vices, okay? But they all the same well, sin. The Hold on, I'm not finished. Family. Read. Brother, I gotta go. I'm not finished. Read. When go. the times of profession <laughs> shall come from the presence of uh -huh. the Lord. Come on. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. So we have to change the minds of our people first. Before, not saying we don't do the things we come to getting food or getting brothers jobs and that but we have to change the minds of our people first that's how the lord said that our people were going to be saved how this generation will be saved what's that give me uh matthews 18 and 3. we gotta go we got another people all right it's the last scripture and thank you thank you for uh your time the book of matthew chapter 18 and verse 3. Uh -huh. And said, Verily I say unto you, uh -huh. except ye be converted uh -huh. and become as little children, uh -huh. ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Our people would not get saved at all from what's going on. God is the one that put us in this condition. And until we acknowledge our offense, just like God said, we will continue in this condition. We can no longer move without teaching our people a doctrine that was given to us in slavery. We can no longer move without uh, with uh, teaching our people white Jesus white supremacy. We can no longer move and think we're going to prosper like that without, with these things. Our people need to be taught correctly. All right. I, no, we I, don't disagree with that. We okay. don't disagree with that. Okay. I appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Brother Wilson, I thank you so much. I appreciate you. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.